Yeah, here's a prime example of uh, junk from the auction in this big old box here. And uh, that's the pieces of drawers. And I could probably salvage the fronts off them and the tracks, but the rest of it's trash. I might be able to fix this. It's got a big old crack down it. And the whole thing is just Jimmy Jack. Nine dollars and twenty cents. So this is pretty much just uh, if I can't fix it, it's just firewood, you know. So buyer beware, you know. The tracks are still there, but um, this thing is just stapled together with particle board and psh, it's fucking total junk. But um, yeah, you know so. Nine dollars and twenty cents. So you got to take the good with the bad, you know. That's why this uh, this thing here was supposed to be um, one of those shower caddies, like I said. But no, this looks like it's five five white chairs. One, two, three. Four, five, six, six white chairs with stands, and uh, oh, I think the shower caddy was you know a dollar or two. So this will be turned out is going to be a good score off someone's mistake. But you know, you take the you know this is a positive for me, where this is just a total negative. Now. This uh, leather chair I bought, you know, it had um, imperfections on it, and I knew that. It said it did, you know, wrinkles and stuff. But some Yahoo put the shipping label on a piece of tape on here, and when I ripped it off, lo and behold, it just ripped the, the, the fake uh, leather right off the chair. This is a comfortable chair, too, and I bought it for the garage, you know, five bucks. No big deal. But I will be calling them tomorrow and telling them, hey, you know, whoever did that, you know, they just ruined my, my item. Now, they did the exact same thing with the shipping label. One of these labels, they stuck it to the top of this laminate. And, I mean, this thing was a nightmare to get off. I got the label off with some goo gone and some sanding. But there was no need for that. They could have easily took some shrink wrap, a couple of wraps, and stuck the label to the plastic. And it would have been no big deal. But no, the Yahoo takes the freaking sticker and sticks it right to the top of the damn thing. You know, zero fucks. That's what that is, zero fucks. You know, and I'm going to be calling them tomorrow and letting them know that, uh, you know, that's just asinine and it's unnecessary. Uh, this chair had more damage then they let on. When I was in the warehouse, uh, um, I kept pulling this off and sitting down, you know, my high blood pressure. I almost went down in the warehouse. Uh, I had my medication with me. But uh, even the guy said, are you all right? And uh, he thought I tripped. And I said, no, I almost hit the floor. He said, well, you got to be careful. I said, no, it was my uh, lack of medication. He's like, oh, <laughs> I said, yeah, if I would have hit the floor, you'd be calling an ambulance. <laughs> He's like, oh, shit. <laughs> so then he was real helpful. But, uh, yeah, the uh, the drawer fronts on this are nice. You know, all the hardware is there. But this is just glued together uh, junk. You know, it's got the dovetail. But, uh, yeah, they took a staple gun and staple 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 I mean, particle board and staples i mean that's a recipe for disaster but uh that's one of the things at the auction you know buyer beware you know you may get a score and you may get burned and that's just the way it goes later